most of the shows that have been nominated were always white. Yeah. The and most of the actors that were nominated were mm -hmm. always white. Mm -hmm. Latinos are not included, blacks are not included, and Asians are nowhere to be found. Let's talk because I think this is where we, our communities, miss opportunities <laughs> because we're so busy protesting, we're so busy complaining and bitching about what we don't have that we fail to realize that it's campaigning. It's all about campaigns. And, um, you know, a lot of shows of color may not have the big budget. dollars to do the budget, but what can they do to get their faces uh, and, and their shows in front of the Academy members? There's got to be uh, something that can be done. You know, coming from um, independent filmmaking, I know that it's not always about the money, but the resources, how you utilize your resources. I, I just wanna say something, that I saw something this year during the campaign season that I thought was so smart. And they were two actors of color, extremely talented. And I saw them come to every single event and kind of just mingle and stand in the lobby and network and talk to everybody during film group screenings as well as other events that the Academy was putting on. So their face was in front of those members constantly. And did they happen to be members of the they television? Ended up, yes. Being, okay. And okay. they ended up getting nominated. Wow. Yes. Okay. I can okay. talk on that yes, a yes, little yes. as well. So you did something <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, huge. That's how I found out about you. So tell us what you did. Um, I want to go back to how this all began at a seminar, which was put on by our performer peer group called Get Whipped Into Submission. Yes. <laughs> and they've had it before. It wasn't, it wasn't, this was wasn't, never. I went yeah. to too. So yes, I've the been, first yes, year... Exactly. I, and so I'm a baby. I know nothing about Emmy campaigning. I don't even know that I could actually be on the, the, the pre-nomination ballot. No idea. That seminar, which I went to in its first year, was so instrumental in me understanding. And it was intimate. And we sandwiches and cookies. And it was so intimate. I, sat, I still remember who sat at my table there. It was so important to me to, uh, as a member, like if ha that had not had happened and I had not gone to that, I would not be talking today about the FYC pr event that I produced. And I want to just say that's the whole purpose of the Academy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That was, exactly. like I said, I remember like who I sat with, I remember who I met at my table. I learned so very much and I went, I I have something that could be on the ballot. Like the girl who didn't even think she could be in the television academy a year before, I had something on the ballot. And so I, that was my first campaign. And I learned as I went and I threw myself out there. Take us back step, because you step just by said, step. Okay. Of, of how you started your campaign. So I went to that seminar. I learned, I where I learned the steps. It was broken down so clearly for me. How I was actually qualified. I met publicists at that event. I met um, I met former Emmy winners. I met our governors. I met a brilliant editor who became my editor. And I learned everything and I and it really broke it down and it made it ac accessible to me. A working actor that no but no that's not a name and um, but who has work. Who has because work and I have, have something to be proud of. 109 credits. Yes. No, I, I think yes, it's yes, important because yes, there are a lot yes. of wonderful actors out here who have done a lot of work. If you go through their IMDb page, it is rich with work that they've done, but they would never think to do so what great. you did. And it starts at the pre-nomination. Right. You put it beautifully. It's the, the pre-nominating vote. Is that is that what it's called? Yeah, yeah it's the pre-nomination ballot. The pre-nomination pre ballot. So we so I had something that was qualified. I had a Christmas movie I did with Chevy Chase on a, not a major network, but on Ion Television. It wasn't even in the drop down. I had to put Ion in when I filled yeah. that. And so I did a campaign. So I essentially had a movie, I had clips, I had a picture with me with Chevy Chase. I did the postcards for $200. I was able to put my clip on the Television Academy site. So that's one thing that actors that don't have the network behind them can do. Mm -hmm. And 
they can get that clip. And what do we spend on our reels? What do we spend on headshots? $200 is a steal for that whole season for all the casting people and the performers, or everyone, I guess, everyone. could come and go and look at your submissions. So let's talk money, because I, I hear actors going, yeah, but I don't have any money. So you probably invested, what, $1,000? I was so for that year because it was just one submission. This year is a whole other story. I had four submissions this year. I went from like like Yay. meek to diva right. in that's in right. in three hundred sixty five days. Right. One thing that most people don't know is if you have something qualifying this year, it is cheaper to join the Television Academy because you get your first submission for free. Mm. It's actually cheaper to become a member of the Television Academy if you're qualified and then take your first Emmy submission for free. So I've had friends that ran campaigns not even being in the television and I said, "Honey, you 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 can't you it, it's a shame to have <laughs> it's a shame to know." Nice. Yeah, and I didn't know at the time either. So that like I said, it goes back to that that peer group seminar that taught me everything. So you um got a clip that mm -hmm. you paid two hundred dollars to upload. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You uh, uh, bought postcards. How many postcards did you? I get? did. I did five hundred. Now there are ways that I could have paid the Television Academy to send my clips out to Those, the membership. To yeah. the membership. Now that's very costly. So if you don't have a network behind you, that that for yes. a working actor, that's probably not going to be in your budget. But as was brought up at that seminar. We can't give you a list of who the casting directors are that are Academy members, but I just sent them to all the tele I, all the casting directors because they could vote for me. So if they were Television Academy members, they were able to see, and I could and I sent them to go told them where my clip was. And if they aren't, it's still have saying I'm on the you know I'm have something that is is eligible and here's me and Chevy Chase. So stand. those 500 postcards, you sent them out yourself? I Yes, I sent and, them out and myself. And did you go to the event and hand them out? I did that year because it was allowed that year. So Okay, um, so now it's not allowed. Right. No, it's not. Okay, so it's better to, if I am um, submitting and I'm going to make postcards, what would the cost be to have the Academy send them out? Oh, that I have no yeah. idea. I, I don't, don't work in the awards department, okay. but they do have twenty three thousand members. Okay, so they would be sending it a few out thousand to dollars, so probably when, at least. Probably. Okay, yeah. so okay. think of like so we get how many hundreds of videos every oh my season? Goodness, I have lost count. And they're beautifully mm -hmm. packaged and they're sent to twenty three thousand. Members, members. So vote that, well. The voting, voting <laughs> members. Mm -hmm. So, um, so it, it's costly. So there are ways. You know, you could you could get yourself in the Emmy magazine, but knowing that none of those were going to be an option for that year or for this year of that matter, I just had to think outside the box. Excellent. Which and, brought which, you, which brought, brought me to, to your year two. Back at giving props to that same seminar. Now it's get whipped into submission two. Uh, there again, learning. Um, some of the same panel, a friend of mine who I met the first time in that event last year now is on the panel because he won an Emmy. And I watched his process from that, Kim Estes, from that meeting, run a successful campaign and win an Emmy. So now I, there are some new rules in place and they, and I understand it. The networks are spending a heck of a lot of money to have this event. They don't want me to bring your the competition I see. to some, not that I'm really competition, handing out. I get it. But you are. You might be taking a slot yeah, I that might, they're, they're spending a lot of money right, for. Exactly, right, exactly. I'm going to get the personal vote maybe from Leslie because she had the time to check out my work and some other guest actress is not going to get it. And I'm now networking. I'm putting out my promotional stuff for free at an event that they've spent thousands so, and thousands of thousands. So, thinking outside, outside the, the box. box. Yes. What think, did you do? So, I said, <laughs> yes, okay. So, the working, I hear, actor. the working actors at this meeting start complaining. Well, I just decide, well, I have to do something different. Now, I have to give credit to um, Jania. She's also a think outside the box yes. girl. She got, she got off her butt and she started in that meeting a list 
a list of everyone that wanted to be in that meeting where all performers were all our peers. She started an email list. She created it. She typed it all up. She created a release that said, we will not abuse this. You didn't get the numbers. If it, and from that list, I want to give credit where credit is due. From that list, I created a private Facebook group called the FYC Underdogs. They I love us. that. And I <laughs> sent, and from that list, I sent everyone on that list an email. And I said, hey guys, I'm gonna, I didn't even call it produce. I'm gonna do an event. I'm gonna screen some of my Emmy submissions this year. Who wants to join me? And, and I literally thought like five people would be like, okay. And I think in the beginning, five people were like, I'll do it. And then they saw it grow. Like, cause I think they were like, who is this girl? Like, what's the, okay, so what's the Van Nuys receipt out? So I said, I have a venue, I'm gonna do it. And I sent out and I had this crazy idea and 35 clips later and 170 people standing room only with um, Getty images and we we screened 35 underdog clips of people. It's fantastic. Yeah. Resulting in six, Res was it six? Well, yeah, yes, you six know what? Six nom nominations? Was yeah, right? so we had, right? we had, if we, That's a good some, yes. we can throw, we, we can throw in some, yeah, we had miles for um, Bro broken. broken, we add, and we can attach, um, we can also Lee attach Garlington. Lee Garlington, Garlington from Broken to that. Who has worked forever. Yes. Over 200 credits, yeah, yes. right? <laughs> um, we, uh, we have, so, and then we also have Melvin Jackson Jr. And Naomi Grossman, who has worked a, yes. many years, has been on the ballot before for Ryan Murphy projects, but actually got a nomination this year. And, Kelly, um, and then the, the surprise of the season, <laughs> which I will take just a tad of credit for, because um, everybody knows how hard Melvin and Kelly worked. But the surprise of the season, guest star category, was Kelly Jenrette. Um For Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tale. And I take great pride in that my event was so inclusive. It, I did it for free. Nobody paid any money unless they wanted their face or their logo on the step and repeat, and that was $45. You even did a step and repeat. Yes, she oh, did. Oh, yeah. <laughs>